Right guys, come around and have a look what we have here. I've already pulled it out the ground, I know what it is. Didn't live dig it because it was a banging 80 and I thought it was going to be junk. But here's a very old deteriorated lock. I haven't seen a lock like this one before. It's, I don't think it's super old, but it's uh, certainly it ain't. It's been yeah, it's been in the weather for a while under this massive gum tree we've got going here. So cool, yeah. Big heavy find. We'll weigh down my finds bag, but I love finding locks and keys and those kind of things. So it's all right. I'll take that. Let's see what else we get. So guys, under this tree again, starting to deliver some things now, got a big 67 and I was like, yeah, it's too shallow, but have a look what we have. You can see it with your eyeball. Here we go. Another spoon. I found a load of these spoons here. Old spoons. Check that out. So some guy was sitting underneath this tree having a bit of a, a lunch or a snack and he left his spoon behind old spoon uh, a bit rusted maybe oh, there's some writing on the back let's give this a quick scrub it's not a coin so i won't get into trouble <laughs> i'm going to give that a scrub and see if we can make out what the writing is maybe get a date where it was manufactured something along those lines Gonna need X-ray vision. It says uh, Sheffield, England. Rust, less nickel, and silver. Let's carry on going around this tree. Seems this could have been a good old picnic spot. Let's have a look. Okay, it's in this little clod. Let's see if we can make it out. Come on, 66. Be something good. Whoa, what's this? Is it our first button for the day? Mm, could be a little, it is a buckle guys, check. Look at that, minute little buckle. Is that leather still in there? Mm. Is it leather? Yeah. So I'm not gonna pull that out, I don't wanna damage it. But here we've got a small little shoe buckle, it would seem. Is this still a bit of leather? Yeah. Huh. I can get that a light, light brush. Uh, Leon from Middle Detector South Africa in Johannesburg. Uh, he went for the first time out today and he posted on our WhatsApp group a little button, a button, a little buckle, and it actually looks very, very similar. Here we go. Not that old, you know, it's still got the cotton and leather. Yeah, cool. Let me take a photo of that one for the guys. Okay, it's out. And it's there. Is this it? No. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, this is probably it. Ah, right, what is this? Interesting. Is that an ornament? Switch the pointer off. Hmm. There's a little pipe going up there. Cool little pattern. There we go. What's that? See, so guys, if you got any ideas what that could be, drop a comment. Let us know. Interesting. Copper. Hmm. Well, 
interesting one. Not sure what that is. All right, on to the next. We've got ourselves something with patina. I think it a coin. Yeah, what sort of coin is this one? I think it's a old one cent coin. All right. Came through nicely. 1970 it looks like. Yep. So it's not a great find. Uh, South African one cent coins, they're very common. Uh, out of circulation for a while. But yeah, second coin for the day. Let's keep going. All right, guys. I just got a stonking signal, blew my ears off. And look at this mechanism. That has to be a clock. Yeah, definitely. It's got the little, oh, it's falling apart. But that's, uh, yeah, that's the first sort of intact clock mechanism that I found. Well, it was intact, just half of it fell off. But look at all those cogs. We find a lot of these sprockets and cogs, but I've never found one sort of in this condition still together. Nice. It wasn't deep at all. Blasted my ears off. See what we can find. We're going through this thick bush. We have found cartwheel pennies in this area, so we're hoping to find some more of the same. Hold thumbs. Let's go. I'm trying to see if I've been missing anything on the on the days too, because I've been digging sort of from about 80 upwards, but I know I've been missing a lot of targets. But I've sort of been coin shooting for the good stuff. So let's have a look and see what this 70 could be. It's quite big. What oh, big it was. That's why we dig these small little, I don't know, musket ball, shrapnel ball. It's definitely not a sinker because there's no, no hole going through it. Yeah, nice round lead ball. Hmm. Come on, have a look here. I'm not sure what this is. Um, I don't think it's anything fancy. It's just very old. Okay, let's discover this together. Let's see. Ah, we have a musket ball for a shrapnel ball. And it's definitely not a sinker because I don't see any hole in it. That's where I nicked it. Over there. Hmm. Second one for the day. Shrapnel ball or a musket ball. Cool, that one's in good condition. Nice and round. Yeah. What is this? Something different, it's not a bottle top. Could have been, uh, it's not lead. cap of some sort. Perhaps it's sealed a old type of bottle maybe. It's not a lead seal. Hmm. Not sure what that is. Alright guys, I think I'm on the top of a, a ash dump. Every swing of the coil is like three or four targets. Just listen to this. I just had a surface find of a, of a horseshoe and I've just got a surface find here as well. Have a look here. I, I just, I don't know what it is. I mean, I know it's a coin, but I don't know what coin. Uh, it could possibly be a two cent, yeah, it's an old two cent coin. The fire has been through here. Uh, you can see everything ground is charcoal-y. This is a 1973 two cent coin. It's not old. Uh, it's been out of circulation for a while. 
1973. Cool. Alright, so guys, we coming to the end of a day. It's been a really tough day. Fines have been hard to get. Got a few things, but nothing to get too excited about. It was just nice being out. Um, so probably going to be my last target, 86. Could be a deep one. And I'm hoping it's going to be a coin. Still a solid 86. Let's have a look here. Yeah, we were chasing deep targets, unfortunately. <laughs> They didn't materialize. One of them was 40 to 50 centimeters and it ended up being a big steel pipe. Yeah, and that was in the middle of the day. It was, sun was beating down on us. Okay, good news is it's out. And the second bit of good news is we're ending on a on a shell. Look at that. Rifle shell. Bullet casing. This is old. Just see there. So old bullet casing. So that's not too bad. That's the first bullet for the day. Bullet casing for the day. So yeah guys, thanks for watching. Uh, third relic hunt with the day is two. Uh, it's been, yeah, I really, have really enjoyed it. Um, bombed out today, but the previous two days, of previous two hunts with, with the day is two have been good. Each day, cartwheel, penny, silvers. Yeah, it's been good. Thanks for watching guys. If you liked the video, please support our channel. Uh, give us a like, hit us uh, on a subscribe there. We really do appreciate the support and we'll see you on the next video or out in the hunting fields, hopefully. Cheers, cheers.